we are transitioning to orgasms. Yes. Because my, I'm like, Emily, Bring come it, on the show. <laughs> Ladies, I feel like every girl in my DM still is like, I have never had an orgasm. Mm, same, I have literally them writing down. Yeah. Why can't I ever finish during sex? I've been to the OBGYN. There's nothing wrong with my right. vagina. Let's talk about how to come. Why can't I come? Why can I orgasm mm. with my vibrator, but not with a man? Like, let's get into it. Do we share DMs? I swear to God. No, literally. I too, but forever. It makes me sad. Wait, listen, okay. Most women are going to at some point have a problem with orgasm. But yep. let me just say this. You are responsible for your own orgasm. It's not about anyone giving you an orgasm. Mm. It's not about them figuring out your body. Like I used to believe that someday my prince will come <laughs> and so will I. Oh my God. <laughs> Emily, that was a good one. Yeah, oh I used God. to, I was like, oh my God, he's going to ride up on a horse and he's going to fucking know my body and, and know what I need because I didn't know. Right. I wasn't told. I had no sex education. I was like, and then I kept not having orgasms. I used to always fake orgasms before this became like my career because right, I was right, like, right. this sex has got to be better than this. So if I tell you that, that you are responsible. So, and then what's like a mind fuck. Like I think a lot a of people fuck. are with, like, well, not like, about a man. They don't know. Whoa. They don't know. How and the hell would they know? If you right. don't know, why do they right. know? Right. They don't fucking know. <laughs> how nobody fuck knows. They? Literally nobody knows. And, and you don't know. How does he know? Right. And if you put a hundred women in a room right now and they were all orgasmed, let's say they were all masturbating. Okay. hundred women. They would all be doing something a little bit different. It doesn't look right. the same and their vulvas don't look the same. Right. And we all want something different. And so, so my heart goes out to men who feel like they have the way they have to make the moves, they have to initiate, they have to know. Oh. But everyone's different. Take responsibility for your orgasm. First and foremost, if anyone's going to do it, you're going to do it yourself. Yeah. And I used to make jokes about being like, take a mirror and go put it down Not on your do vagina it. and take stare at yourself. Do you even know what your like right. vagina looks Could like? Could you pick it out of a lineup? Like if I put your <laughs> vagina on a wall, yes. would you know? Would you know? If you can't, then you are like failing. Yeah. Like, come on, girls. You got to get, that's your best friend. That's your BFF. That is your BFF. Yeah. 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 And so girls, it's like, First and foremost, we need to focus on you're in the bedroom by yourself with your favorite vibrator. If you don't like your vibrator, go get another one. Have yeah, so many different so toys many. and learn your own body and be like, oh, I know how to make myself come when I'm in my room. Then, then we transition to the bedroom with a man right. and see, yes, if he can do that. But if you know how to do it on your own. Right. So much easier. So much easier. Yeah. And then he's going to be psyched. To be like, oh, great, you're going to show me? Awesome. And we yes. think that they're not because we want to give them all the power. No. And that's just the patriarchy. That's how we were raised. Right. That is not the reality of great sex. Yeah. So first is like you're responsible. Now, for some women, they just can't. And, and you, a toy is awesome. Lube is important. I'm telling you, you know I could rant on lube forever. Why are so pe people so awkward about lube? Want to hear why? But tell because me. Because we are told, because ugh, the same it's like, thing. why is your pussy not yeah, wet? you're not wet. And if your pussy's that wet, my dick's not big enough. If your pussy, like if I, I did something wrong. Then you're wrong, not turned on. You're not it's turned like, on. no. <laughs> you're no. not turned on and has nothing to do with that. So a woman's wetness level, like I could be super wet yes. and not turned on. Yes. I could be so fucking turned on and not and wet. And dry as the Sahara. So, and it's like, what the fuck? Well, I swear I'm turned on. I swear. If you have a lube on your nightstand, just sitting there and you take a pump and before <gasps> any... Before masturbation, a hand job, a blow job, oral sex, a few drops of lube. And you rub it into your clitoris. You can yes. rub it on a penis. Then you have enough lubricant and maybe yes. reapply. Yes. There's no shame in the lube game. I and, just oh, want everyone no to shame know in the that. Lube yeah. game. Emily coming with the facts today. Yeah, it's true. I love so, this. And that also, so Kinsey, you know Kinsey, uh, uh, Kinsey Institute, Alfred Kinsey was the no. first one who studied okay. sex in the 50s. Oh, okay, Jesus. Whoa. Yeah, like in Spitting the Kinsey, back. Kinsey in Indiana. Yeah, I don't know. But that's Kinsey Institute did a study that showed when lube was added, and this was like ten, five years ago, women were 80% more likely to orgasm just from a few drops of lube fuck. on their clitoris. Is everyone listening? Yeah. Are you guys listening? And press pause and take a fat yeah, no. note. that shit Go down. buy yourself lube. So then you got to think about, if you, you've tried this, you've tried your fingers, your hands, some women try the shower head, the yeah. toys, and it still doesn't work. There's a few factors. Okay. It could be, in your head, there could be like shame. We already covered, like it could be religion. It could be you think it's wrong. Yeah. Anxiety, stress, yeah. you're worried about it. You're obsessing about it and it won't happen. It could be medication. If yeah. you're taking antidepressants, antidepressants have a huge impact on your libido, even birth control pill. So like check all those boxes. Yeah. And here's the other thing is like, it's not all about orgasm, but the majority of women do not orgasm with penetration. Right. Only 20% do. Thank you. That is Spitting facts just here. Listen, 20% of women have an orgasm with a penis. And you're like, why didn't I know that? Because everything we see in movies, in 
in, in right. porn. He just sticks it in and she's like, oh, I just had an yeah, orgasm. That doesn't happen. <laughs> what? That is she not real. She wasn't even touching her clit. That's like, what I say. What? I'm like, you are nowhere near anything. That did <laughs> not feel good. I'm always Literally. like, stop. So yeah. just know that we're not set up for success sexually as women. It's like we constantly feel like, I remember like even guys going down on me or like during sex, I'm like staring at the clock. I'm like, okay, he's going yeah. down on me. It's been eight minutes, nine minutes. Right. Why aren't I coming at stress? Like, it takes, there's an orgasm gap too because guys come between six and 10 minutes. Women are like between 20 and 40 minutes. Uh, so see, why, I didn't know that time. Yeah, That's amazing. Yeah, it's it's true. Put so, that on the fucking, put that in your notes. Yeah. Women, do not feel shame that it takes nope. you longer. And that is why men have to understand you need foreplay. We need some teasing. Yeah. We need some kissing. We need some licking. You need to put in work on put her clit time. before she can even get close to having an orgasm. And it's not about pounding away. No, no. Do not pound Please. away. Please, we do not need the pounding. Don't pound. I mean, the jackhammer. No. Nope. Oh, ow. It gets My vagina hurts. Up. I know, same. It, like, ow. ow. Please like, stop. Like, now I've got to, uh, <laughs> uh, uh, ow. Just remember, oh. like, women are like a slow cooker, right? Like if you warm her up and a man's like a frying pan. Like yeah. he walks in, he's like, Alex, you're so hot. Let me yes. go. I've got this erection. 30 like, seconds. Yeah, but, like- but, but you're like, okay, thanks. Good. Didn't even see right. you walk in. Right. Glad you're here. Like have a seat, you know, between my legs or like yes. figure this out. Yes. Get me there because that's just how it works. And that's and- actually such a good analogy. Like we are the oven. They are a frying yeah, pan. Exactly. And it is, we're on two different timetables. So men need to understand that. And women, you need to understand that and not be stressed to try to be a fucking right? frying pan. Don't be, you'll never you're be a frying pan. It. You're you'll never it. be a frying pan. Going back to the vulva versus yes. the vagina is that it, they're not equal. So we're told, oh, sexual organ, vagina, penis. But really, it should be penis vulva because yeah. if I'm telling you that 20% of women are not going to orgasm that way, but it's going to happen externally, the vulva is the exterior part of the vagina. It's everything that you see. Yes. And that is where the magic happens. The magic. The clitoris has 8,000 nerve endings. The penis has four. Oh, bitches. 4,000. Let's, only 4,000. <gasps> Half. So the clitoris is eight. And let me tell you this, ready? The clitoris is not just the little bulb. Yes. The clitoris has legs, and those legs, Ooh, legs. extend into the labia. So the labia, the labia, uh, so when we're talking about masturbation, yes. you want to not just go right for the clitoris. You want to, like, stroke your labia, inner, outer labia. That There's clitoral nerves internally that are behind. Like, you can't see them, but they're, like, yes. behind your labia. I'm like, eh. Yes. So that, so it's not just about, it's about teasing it and stroking and playing with, like, Different hand tapping, circular motion, and then you move, you can move your fingers inside. But for a lot of women, it's just external, oh, and literally. that's fine too. There's that not like so an fine. inferior orgasm. That is so brilliant too, because I think so many girls are like, okay, yes, you said the clit, so I'm going to go for the clit, and you just put the vibrator yeah. on your clit. It's like, girls, no, no. you need no. to form, you need to warm up yourself. Literally foreplay yourself before you get to the clit. Like the clit is the castle, and you're going up to the castle, and first you're focusing on the. What, what, what do you call it? Just know that there's a lot of erectile tissue yes. that goes inside and outside and it's all connected and just find where yours are. But first, if you want to go in, like when we're talking about masturbation, the, like you're saying, like the best thing is get curious. Like yeah. how does everything feel? Because you might find that like teasing yourself, like you're saying before you get to the castle, yes. like what's the <laughs> moat like? Like yeah. Ooh. let's go over the bridge. <laughs> let's look at the grass. Yes. Are there animals? There's a dragon. Like yes. I, we're going to look and like you realize like you're teasing your inner thighs, like you're going up there slowly. And then yeah. that part of it is like kind of like an edging for women. Yes. It's like you are building towards the orgasm. That might be the part that turns you on. So when you go right for the clit, it's, 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 yeah. it's painful. And so you can explore. I love the mirror thing because here's the other cool thing about a mirror. When you look at you and you, you learn to like, this is how you can learn self-acceptance. I don't want to say self-love, body love. Yeah. Because you might not. You might just learn right. to like not hate your body, but accept it. I'm cool with that. That's cool. So you're like, let's say you like take a mirror and you're looking. And what you realize is if you touch yourself and you look, you'll be like, oh, when I start to get aroused, the blood starts to like, it gets engorged. Like your clitoris, yes. the yes. clitoral hood moves back. You're like, oh, oh. this is hot. Like look yes. at my body. I can see what's happening. Yes. Like, and then I remember telling that to a boyfriend. I was like, look, do you see that? He's like, oh, that's really hot. And then he got into making that happen. <gasps> Like get Emily, them, wait, that enroll is so them, hot. Enroll the wait, guy. So did you enroll start- him into your like be like, look, babe, my clitoris, when you touch it, like it gets swelled and this happens. <gasps> That's because of you. Like, this is how you do it. 
Oh yeah. Wait, that is so hot. So you, would you start to like touch yourself first yeah. and show him? I'd be like, look, this is what I need. Yeah, because I know he doesn't know. Exactly. Oh, and how? <laughs> and how should they? How a should vagina he know? is so scary to a man. He's so, like that. It's looks. like the Rubik's cube of life. You're like, I don't fucking know what that. He's like, I want to do everything to it. I want to make it feel great. I just have nowhere to start. Right. I know there's a hole, and I'm just like gonna try to get in there. But it's not about the hole. It's about the vulva. <laughs> 